Section 1. Installation of Dresser Hardware. For proper installation of the hardware, first, place your motorcycle on a clean, flat surface. Find the belly bracket, 6 U-bolts and 12 locking nuts. The front belly bracket must be installed first. To do this, first, hang the 6 U-bolts on the frame of the motorcycle, 3 on each side. Then, put the belly bracket on the U-bolts using the 12 locking nuts. Do not tighten at this time. Now, remove the side bags from the motorcycle and remove the hanger bolts from the mufflers. Find the muffler extension brackets and install them using the original bolts and the new bolts provided. Do not tighten at this time. Find the left front axle bracket, left rear axle bracket, and right rear axle bracket and one hose clamp. Install the left front rear axle bracket first. Put two bolts in the lower holes of the bracket. Bring the bracket from underneath and in front of the swing arm. Then put two bolts in the top holes of the bracket. Now slide the left back rear axle bracket behind the swing arm. Install the four bolts in the threaded holes of the left rear axle bracket. Now tighten the bolts. Make sure the pulley bolts do not touch the left back rear axle bracket. To install the right rear axle bracket, remove the E-clip from the axle bolt and remove the nut. Hang the right rear axle bracket on the axle bolt and put the hose clamp on and tighten it. Make sure the right rear axle bracket is touching the swing arm of the motorcycle. Before installing the nut on the axle bracket, the face of the nut must be ground off. Grind it off a little at a time until the E-clip can be reinstalled when the nut is tightened. Now, measure from the center of the main bolt shaft on the belly bracket to the center of the rear motorcycle tire. It should measure 31 to 31 and a quarter inches. When both sides measure the same, tighten the 12 locking nuts on the belly bracket. Now, tighten the bolts on the muffler extension brackets and reinstall the side bags on your motorcycle. After installing the wheels and tires on the Voyager, place the crossbar of the Voyager directly behind the rear wheel of the motorcycle and install the kickstand on the rear of the Voyager. Put the motorcycle in neutral and push it backward over the crossbar. Another way is to have a helper hold the Voyager while you push the motorcycle over the crossbar. Rest the motorcycle on the kickstand. Now install the jack stands on the receiver nuts of the Voyager belly bracket. Install the jack stand opposite the kickstand first. Install the other jack stand and make sure the motorcycle is straight up and down. After making sure the motorcycle is straight up and down, remove the Voyager kickstand. Push the Voyager into place and install both front attachment bolts with the spacers and lock washers and torque them to 80 foot-pounds. Remove both jack stands and measure from the rear wheel of the motorcycle to the hub plate of the Voyager frame. Measure both sides and make sure the measurement is the same. If it isn't, loosen the belly bracket and straighten the Voyager. Tighten the belly bracket and measure the rear of the Voyager again. Repeat this procedure until both sides measure the same. Now, roll the motorcycle rear tire onto the preload plate and chalk the Voyager tire to keep it from rolling. Now, we will begin the rubber damper suspension installation. Take the rubber damper bonded to the mounting plate and slide it between the suspension fork and leaf springs until snug. 
Be sure the plate is resting against the leaf springs. Put two bolts through the damper mounting plate. Then around the leaf springs and through the rubber damper bonded to the mounting plate. Use the two lock nuts and hand thread them onto the bolts. Tighten them completely. Locate the four suspension U-bolts, two lock blocks, two suspension plates, eight hex nuts, and eight lock washers. Place two suspension U-bolts over the rear of the Voyager frame and through the suspension U-bolt plate. Hand thread a hex nut and lock washer on each suspension U-bolt end. Do not tighten at this time. Place the leaf springs on top of the suspension U-bolt plate and underneath the Voyager frame. Then place the tapered end of the suspension fork on the bearing receiver. Locate the suspension lock block. Place the lock block over the leaf springs and under the Voyager frame. Tighten the hex nuts, but leave loose enough to adjust the suspension fork. Repeat each step on the opposite side suspension fork before tightening completely. Adjust the suspension fork so it aligns in the center of the bearing receiver. The outside diameter of the K-Preen roller bearing should be 3 16 inside the tapered end of the suspension fork. Once the suspension fork is properly adjusted, tighten the hex nuts on the suspension U-bolts completely. Then torque them to 35 foot-pounds. Now install the rear mudguard and your motorcycle is ready to ride.